What's up, Internet? JD Duck here with Episode 2 of Let's Play Firewatch. If you guys remember in the last episode, we learned the backstory of our character, a lot about him and his wife. Uh, we also got a report of some fireworks being set off in the woods on our first day out in the tower. We were on our way out to check out those fireworks to uh, see what was going on. We took a pretty nasty tumble off some steep shale. So we're back this week to see if we survived the fall. I'm going to go ahead and call out game mechanics as I see them for you guys so you can learn how to play as well as watch. Uh, but I'm going to do my best to shut up when the dialogue is happening for you, just like I did in the last episode. So without further ado, let's kick it off. Hey. What the hell's wrong with you? Uh, Cripple Gulch got me. What exactly happened? My rope snapped coming down the shale slide. Think you'll have to pee in a bag for the rest of your life? No, I think I'll make it. Well, be careful for Christ's sake. All right, guys, so obviously we did survive the fall. We're going to start our journey again, get back on track. Um, after I get distracted with looking at another climbing post, we're going to get back looking for those people setting off fireworks. Uh, hey, there's a tie-off point off here, just a little way from the shale slide. Oh, you ready to get back on that horse, huh? Well, I can't go any further, is what I'm saying. That heads south down to the creek, but you should be able to get to the lake just by continuing west. Without any, you know, mountaineering. Alright. It's a long summer. You can explore later. Aw, but I want to explore right now. Oh well. We're going to move ahead a little bit further, and I believe we will stumble upon a campsite. Wow, there's a, a big rock outcropping down here near the lake. It's really something. Yeah, makes for good camping. There used to be a group of guys who would boulder out there a couple times a year. What happened to them? Dunno. Just stopped coming out. I'm staring at the big outcropping down here, but I'm not quite sure where to look for our uh, pyrotechnicians. Mm. Maybe keep heading west toward the lake. Finding a bunch of empty beer cans. They threw them all over hell. Are you fucking serious? Yeah, sure am. Uh, people are just the worst, aren't they? They're not great, no. What do you know? People with shitty manners drink shitty beer. What, you don't like a cold muskwa light on a hot day? No, no, I do. But then again, I didn't say my manners were any good. Better than these fucking litter bugs, though, that's for sure. Oh yeah, we do not like litter bugs in our forest, guys. So we're going to clean up all these beer cans, left-click on the mouse to pick them up, hold the E key to put them in your pack, or wherever you end up putting them, but that pretty much takes care of the litter. And uh, we're going to see if we can find any more beer cans in this area. We'll find a couple more things, and then we'll head down to the lake, see if we can find the actual people responsible for this. Oh, look, they decided to have a campfire, too. You know, they color-coded the fire danger signs in case people were illiterate. But I guess that doesn't take into account just plain stupid, does it? Well, I put out their fire. Man, I want to name that forest fire something good, too. Hey, I can always restart it. Uh, no. I think your first instinct was the right one. They left half a bottle of whiskey. Decent stuff. Drunk pyromaniacs. Fucking great. Oh shit. Ferret or Irish? Yum. I'm a big fan of Irish whiskey myself in real life. I don't know if I'd drink something that has a ferret on the bottle. But, um, single malt whiskey, uh, I think we'll save that for later by holding the E key. And, uh, hopefully these people won't get too upset that we stole their booze. But, we don't really care. They're litter bugs anyways. Found the fireworks. They didn't even try to hide them. Uh, well, confiscate them. Oh, we will. And we will confiscate them by using the E-key again. They left their packs tied up here. Don't fuck with them. The last thing we need is some hikers filing a report about harassment. Well, they left their clothes out to dry. It looks like, uh, two people. Well, uh, what if they're naked? Won't that be exciting? Look, they're obviously still there, so tell them off and then head back. I don't know what we're about to walk into, guys, but, oh, it's going to be weird. I can tell you that much. I found a bra. A nudie pyromaniac. Remain professional. Uh, there are, uh, panties. There are what? 
I don't want to say that word again. Why? Because you're 12? Let me inform you, Delilah, that men of all ages feel awkward saying that word, which I am not going to say because I am one of those men. So, there. Anyways, moving on. What do we got? Another one. There's a... Ooh. Yes? Uh, nothing. Forget it. If you say so. I found them in the lake. Skinny dipping? Yeah. Is that a guy over there? Oh boy, enjoy dealing with that. I know you guys are setting up bottle rockets out here, okay? How? Because you're hiding in the bushes spying on us? Give him a break, Lily. He probably has a few boobs in 20 years. <laughs> He's probably still a virgin. So we hiked all the way out here to get away from guys like you. Look, I'm sorry for bothering you. Can you just knock it off, please? Yeah, you should be. This is a free country, and we should be free to do whatever we want. And free from any peeping Tom. I said sorry. Oh my god, is that what you are? Mark me out. Ew. Can we just get out of here? Ew, You're gross. You're just some sad man. Ooh, you have no idea how right you are, honey. We are quite sad. And we are out in the woods. But guess what I'm gonna do? Because you were so rude, and this is annoying music. Guess where it's going? It's going in the lake. It went fine. Hopefully there won't be any more trouble. Good. Thanks for going down there. Screw yo music! Now I took your booze and destroyed your boombox. What? Well, this lake does seem like a good spot to swim, even if the last people to do so were assholes. Yeah, right now, though, it's all snow melt, so you'll freeze your balls off. But as hot as it's been, maybe that's a fair trade. Starting to feel like it. Well, that, that was quite an awkward interaction we had with those ladies, but we're going to have to uh, head on back to our tower now. At least do our best to find our way back to our tower. We do travel for quite a while here without any kind of dialogue happening, so I'm going to cut that for you guys so you aren't sitting here waiting for something to happen. See you in a second. All right, we're back, and I believe here in a moment, Delilah is going to be giving us a sort of confession, and then things are going to get really exciting, guys. It gets pretty cool from here on out. Enjoy. a bit of a confession to make. What is it? Um, look, I was, I was drunk last night when I welcomed you to the job. Yeah, well, you're not the first boss to be guilty of that. I know, I just, I know I can get a little pushy, you know, putting you on the spot about uh, why you're out here and stuff. It's fine. I'll, I'll, I'll keep that sort of a thing to, uh, to a minimum. Anyway, let me know when you get back to your lookout. So it seems that our boss has a drinking problem. Everybody has a drinking problem in this game, guys. Just so you know. Um, leads to bad things. Life lessons learned. There's our, our tower. Oh, I can see my tower from far away. Yeah, we experimented with hidden underground towers for a while, but we weren't really happy with the results. Oh, the sarcasm's not going to get old. Not at all. Wait a minute, was... was that sarcasm? Shut up. Ah, oh, a little sarcasmception. Sarcasm within sarcasm. Interesting. Hey, I heard some thunder. Yeah, I've got eyes on a storm out to the north. Well, that's bad, right? Because of the lightning? It just means we'll be busy. Hurry home, and... Try not to get hit by lightning. I got hit by lightning when I was nine years old, so I'm safe. It's not gonna strike twice and all that. Well, there was an old lookout named Roy Sullivan who got hit by lightning seven times. I don't like the sound of that. Yeah, well, if it makes you feel any better, it wasn't what killed him. What killed him? Suicide. Would you believe? Oh, man. Rip Roy. Hopefully he doesn't turn up as some sort of crazy ghost later on in this. 
Let's get into this stash. See what they got. Yeah, I get the sense that not everything in here is useful. In the boxes? Why's that? I don't really know what I'll do with the deer horn. Firstly, they're called antlers. And secondly, stay out here long enough and you'll get creative. I found a flashlight. There's one in there? Great. Well, the sun's gonna go down soon, so if the batteries still work, you're in luck. What's in this cave down here? In Thunder Canyon? Thunder Canyon? Hey, I didn't name it. But in the cave? I don't know, rocks? NFS tells people not to go too far in there. It's pretty dangerous. Hello? <laughs> I bless the rains down in Africa! Okay, now that's funny. This cave is gated off. It's to stop Spelunkers from dying without getting the keys from the Forest Service office first. Makes sense. Although, Debbie says she lost them like three years ago, so... Maybe its mysteries are locked away for good. Uh, that's too bad. I used to go caving in Colorado a lot with someone. It would be really nice to pick that back up. Fond memories, huh? Big time. I'll, uh, I'll keep an eye out for those keys. Don't hold your breath. Don't you hold your breath, Delilah, because we're going to find those keys. Better believe it. And when we do, you're not invited to the party in the cave behind the log gate. Alright, so we got one more little rock outcropping to hop over, and we are on the short ride to home. Okay, guys, who the F is that? There's some guy out here. Some guy? It's Roy. He's back. Like he's looking at oh you. God! Is he doing anything else? I, I don't think so. Henry, there's there's something I, something someone should have told you about this area. What is it? It's outside. Come on. The whole thing, and people come and go as they please. It's 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 madness. Yeah, yeah, okay, I get it. Look, bumping into someone in the middle of nowhere is part of the fun. <laughs> What kind of fun is Delilah into? Bumping into people in the middle of nowhere, that sounds crazy! Nobody likes that. Especially when they're up above you on a cliffside, pointing a flashlight at you, kind of blinding you, and then they just stand there and stare at you for a while and then slowly turn and walk away. That's just creepy. People don't do that. Dark figures do that. I'm mostly just concerned with where that guy went, not who he is now, because that bothers me, not knowing that it, where he is. Man, this dude is one hell of a climber. He's like the old school Prince of Persia. <laughs> pull-ups for days and days so there's just a little bit more climbing a little more traveling here guys I'm gonna cut that for you and just get us to the the meat of the story because it gets pretty exciting here in a moment damn it uh, well that trail isn't closed anymore Really? Yeah, I took care of the black path. Um, it was backbreaking, but you know, anything for the service. Well, thank you. Anytime. Uh. What can I do for you? Well, my typewriter is on the ground outside of my tower. You right? Yeah. Look, uh, the wind. No. How the hell? You should get inside. Fuck me.
Someone broke in. They what? They just, they wrecked the place. Threw my typewriter out the window. Motherfucker. Holy shit. Um, I'll let the Forest Service know what happened. My fucking sheets are gone. They stole your sheets? That's just mean. Yeah, it sucks. The place is trashed. I can't believe this shit. Okay, I put in a call. Okay, thanks. Do you have any idea who would have done this? Hmm, could it be a couple of pissed off girls whom I uh, stole their booze and destroyed their stereo? I did probably piss off the girls at the lake. Ugh, fuck them. Well, I'll have the rangers keep an eye out for a couple of young women and question any they find. I can't believe someone would do this. I worry about bears and fires, and that's about it. And now I've got to worry about some, what, violent campers? Uh, okay, in the morning I'm gonna call my friend Patty, who works the desk down in Cody. They keep a list of everyone who's officially been in and out of the trailhead since, I don't know, forever, and see if we can get a list of names. We won't get much, but at least if anything else happens, we can refer to it and see if anything comes up. Thanks. I need you to feel safe out here. Just point me to the Forest Service weapons cache and I'll feel safer than the Pope in his little car. Yeah, uh, someone made the choice years ago that leaving people with infinite amounts of alone time and a gun was kind of a bad idea. Grenades? I'll see what I can do. All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and end the episode here. Day two of Firewatch will be in the next episode. Uh, we're going to figure out what happened to our sheets, what the heck is going on with this two works map that we found in our tower, and have some more fun dialogue with Delilah, as always. Thank you guys so much for watching, and until next time, game on, gamers.